Hey YouTube, iBread Apps here, and uh, today I'm going to do a little bit different of a tutorial, but the tutorial is how to change a view using a UI segmented control. Now I'm going to do a different type of like tutorial where I, the code is already made, I've made it before, before the video, uh, because it just took too long, it was like 15 minutes since I was explaining a lot of code. So I'll just make it, you know, I'll just read out the code to you in the usual way I would do it. Alright, so pretty much this is the view based app. And you have your view controller and app delegate. You don't need the nothing to do with the app delegate. So you have the, the view controller with the XIB for the view controller. And then I made a new um, UI view controller subclass. I'm going to talk about what, what that is. So you just go to a new file, go to UI view controller subclass, and make sure you have with XIB for user interface. And then that's what made view 2. Now then the view 2 had an XIB and so does the view controller. So we're going to start out in the view controller. First of all, just make sure you import whatever you named the second view controller. So in my case it was view2.h. Then after this bracket you're going to do an IB action. So uh, IB action and parentheses segment switch colon parentheses ID parentheses sender semicolon. And then in the dot M you just want to copy that in this code. So pretty much, I'm just I'm not gonna read it all, but you can see it. It's in 720p. So just make sure you make make sure it's an HD. So it's an IB action, same which I declared in the dot H. And then I have two if statements here, if and else if. Here the equals equals zero is uh, is the first one, which will like uh, be the first one when the view loads. So I just want to name this whatever current view controller it's in. So in my case, it's switch views view controller then VC is the acronym I made for it. Um, then what you want to do is init with nib name whatever the view controller name is without the dot XIB part. You do not need that otherwise it's not going to work. So just leave that out and it'll be fine. Then you have the acronym here VC transition style. Here you can comment this out so there is no transition and then if you comment that out just make sure you type in uh, capital no instead of the, the yes here. But you need this line. This is the most important line, pretty much. These two, the first one, the third one. Uh, this, um, these lines that are commented out already, you don't need. So you can just delete those. You don't need to copy that down. All right. So here you have the else if sender selected segment index and brackets equal to equal one, which will be the second one. Now you could do this for three, four, five to four hundred thousand view controllers. You could have a view controller for every frame in a game, but every time you go up like another segmented control, just make sure it goes up one. So it'd be zero, then one, then two, then three. Now zero is the first one, like I said, and one's the second one, then two would be the third one. And then just copy down this uh, XIB changing code I made here. Now if you're going to do this, the different method where you don't change XIBs, where you're just making different views in a uh, different views in the same XIB. Then what you're going to do is go to another YouTube tutorial. I'm not going to make one since there's already so many out there. Um, just type in ways to switch views. I, I think I saw one. It's like method one by this one guy. And then just take out this whole code and just type it in and just replace all the view controller stuff with whatever you have in here. So, yeah, you're just going to need these two view controllers. And I'm going to start explaining the interface builder part now. All right, in the view controller, I pretty much type in view XIB1 here just to show which one it is then I have the segmented control now in the files owner you will see um, this one received action uh, segment switch now you're gonna want to make sure that this is value changed before uh, I knew like about how to do this uh, changing views with the segmented control I did touch up inside and it did not work it didn't crash but it did not work so just make sure it is value changed Alright, so you can command S quit out of that and then go to the view too. And then, um, hold on, uh, after I explain this uh, interface builder part, I'm going to go to the second view controller. It's a little bit different. So, pretty much here, go to the files owner, and there's going to be two, uh, one outlet and one action. The segment switch it, uh, and the segmented control outlet here is this going to be connected to the segmented control? Nothing's connected to anything else here except the view to the view. Here this is a value changed again and this is just you know you connect it and that's it. So you can see that it says view XIB2 
and just make sure it's view uh, value changed, and then you're all good. Then the view two dot in the view two dot h just have the IB outlet segmented control, and then name whatever you want in the IB action segment switch to ID sender. Now, if you find this too fast or whatever, I will post the the source code in the description. It'll be mega upload. So make sure you just import the first view controller here, and if you're in another view, just import what the other two. The other two, I mean, like the first two. And then the .m, you're just gonna have this. This is the same exact code from the uh, first view controller. You do not have to change anything. If you want it animated, yes, you know. All right. Then you can just leave out this code again. And then here's another thing. You're gonna uncomment the view to load part. And you're just going to type in this one simple line. Segmented control, which is what you named it, the IB outlet in the dot age, dot selected segment index is equal to one. Now this pretty much makes it so in the view to load, it's already uh, in the two, like the second uh, clicking instance. So it, it won't be like frozen. Since you are changing views, you are changing the UI segmented control itself. So just make sure you have that in the second view to load and third have, depends on how many view controllers you have. Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it, and uh, I'm going to build in the simulator right now. And then, once you switch it, it'll go to the view XIB2, view XIB1, and yeah. So, it's pretty simple. Um, just You can switch out this code for whatever you want, customize it however you want. But just make sure you have like the right actions and stuff here. So, if you have any questions, leave a comment and just send me a message. Uh, thanks for watching.